Greetings, everyone. Here are five things that you should never share with anyone. Number one, your plans. Never disclose your plans to anyone. The moment you tell somebody what your plans are, that's essentially canceling those plans. For one, before something is materialized, you should never speak on it. The only communication you should have about your plans is the one you have with the universe, with your God, with nature. Never disclose these plans because the ones you disclose it to has the power to cancel it. But also because we're dealing with uh, the idea of good and evil, we have to deal with these forces. And so the moment this becomes a desire for you, there is going to be opposition to it. Number two, never disclose your ideas with anyone, especially in their infancy. So if you have a plan to open a business, you have a plan to get married, you plan to, you know, do whatever it is that is very important to you. Never share your ideas about how you're going to go about it to anyone. For one, you can't see people's hearts and you certainly cannot read people's mind. And so because people are not as genuine as we want them to be or we think they should be, sometimes as you disclose these ideas with these individuals, they might be in a better position than you to run towards it and to make it happen for themselves. So if you don't have the capital to bring about this idea, this great business idea or this project or you know, some product that you are working on, I guarantee you the moment you start telling somebody about these ideas, about how you're going to go about it, sometimes that's it. It cancels it for you or if anything creates that negative energy that will come and try to prevent you from bringing about these ideas. Number three, never disclose your fears to anyone. People often use your fear, the thing you fear against you. But again, in nature, anything you fear, you draw to yourself. So the moment you start saying, I am afraid if I do this or that, this is going to happen. This is going to be the outcome. I fear this thing happening in my life. Therefore, you draw that to you. Just the thought alone. And the moment you open your mouth and you utter it, then that's a done deal. You've sealed your fate. Because as above, so below. As you think of something that could potentially cause harm to you, the moment you speak it and um, even write it down, so if you're journaling and you're saying you're talking about the things that you want out of your life, you want the things, you know, that you want to change in your life, don't talk about what you want to change. Just in that place, put the thing that you desire or that you want. Because again, it works the same way as fear. And if you don't want, you draw to yourself. Anything you fear, you experience. So we had three. So, number four, you don't want to share your success secrets with people. So, just imagine the KFC brand, for example. You know, people have been wanting to know what is their secret. Well, anything you're doing that is making money for you, you cannot give all your secret. You can give some because even in business, they want you to disclose, but never disclose that special thing. You know, when you're cooking and you're putting all kinds of stuff in your, in your um, ingredients and you're tasting it and suddenly you pour a little extra something in there and it just hams up that taste and bring it into a new product or you're, you're making something, for example, for the skin and you just, you know, the, the spirit says, try this. And when you put it in there, OMG, no one else has that. I have products that no one will ever be able to create. And I would never give my secret. So somebody will sell the same product, but it will not ever be the same thing. Because I have a particular, a particular little thing 
that I pop in there and I'm not ever going to share that. Now, I'll share it, but I'll share it with my child so that she can carry on the tradition. I think we had four. So we have our, we have plans, we have ideas, we have fears, we have our trade secret. Or it doesn't just have to be trade secret. It could be even in relationship, your relationship with other persons. What is it that you're doing that makes it work? Because trust and believe, other persons will try to simulate that and try to even interfere in your relationship with your children, with your partner, at your job. Never. If it's working for you and we all should find a way how to change every menu, every recipe, every relationship and make it our own. And finally, if you are able to hold on to your faith and if your relationship with this particular God that you serve is one where you receive downloads where certain things are revealed to you you know certain path given to you to tread it is not for anyone else it's for you so if you're fasting and you're praying or meditating and you get a revelation, a download during that period of time, it's meant for you and not for anyone else. Trust and believe that is a lesson that I learned. A lesson that I learned, I paid the penalty of sharing something that was given to me for my own purpose. And now I know the difference with the messages that I have to relate to other people and one that is meant for me. And sometimes it's hard to keep it because you're so excited. Sometimes you see a glimmer of your future of what is to come and you want to tell. Even sometimes you see a glimmer of what is to happen to someone unless the message is given to you to go forward and to tell it to the person, you keep it to yourself. And I'm not saying that is easy. It's not easy. But you're going to have to hold it because guess what? Sometimes these things are trials. They're tests from the great spirits to see, can I trust you with a small thing? Because if I can trust you with a small thing, I show you a glimpse of what is to come, whether it's for yourself or someone else. And I didn't give you the instruction to go and tell and you did, then can I trust you with the big secret that is not just going to, you know, open pathways and open doors for you and blessing for you and yours. Remember, we want to tell, we want everyone to be happy. You want everyone to walk into their blessing, but some people do not, do not deserve it. Some people have no time to spend with God. They look at you and think you're insane when you're talking about your relationship with a supreme being, something higher than yourself. And they would never put in the work. And then the spirit works with you. You spend your time meditating and fasting and just doing all that you need to have a true connection with the essence of God. You just give it to somebody who doesn't even regard it. And someone who sees God as, you know, someone where you just rub a bottle and you make wishes. The universe is not open to us just making wishes, but thanksgiving and things like that. So as you are blessed with wisdom and knowledge and understanding, there's no point in just having these things and not using them for the glory and the betterment of yourself and your creator. Your relationship with this God is an individual one. And the blessings that come into your life is one that you have to work for. You're not just going to sit there and not put in the work. If you are going to reap success in life, in any area of your life, you're going to have to put in the work. You have to make the sacrifices, but you have to be very, very disciplined. One of the problems we have in life is that we don't want to put in the work. And when we see other persons putting in this work and reaping the benefits, we are angry. We are bitter. We spend so much negative energy, you know, attacking other persons for their blessings, not realizing that if you are smart, 
you would spend that time finding your own path, understanding your own mistakes, and know that if you put the work in, if you're faithful, if you're patient, if you're kind, if you're loving, all good things will come to you. It might take longer than some people, but eventually it will come to you. And when the blessings take an overrun in your life, you know, people are going to not like you, but that's not your concern. You're going to use that time to give thanks and to be even more disciplined and to be thankful and to be wise. Stay blessed.